It's your brother Malcolm from Branch GMS here in Chicago, giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Shunel Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who are the true leaders of all Israel on earth today. And salutations to the Akim that are out there doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. All right, and uh, salutations to the Akwaf that are listening and learning. Um, this is going to be a lesson directed at Dr. Gene Kim of the San Jose Baptist Church. Dr. Gene Kim, you are going to be corrected. First of all, you are a Moabite, okay? You are a part of the people uh, who helped Esau, and it's clear that you're helping them now. You're completely supporting Edomite superiority, um, lies. Um, and uh, you're just falling into your lot, man. So I'm going to address some of the things that you spoke about. This is all through the spirit, not unscripted. So I'm going to start with Revelation because you uh, made a very sarcastic and pathetic attempt to uh, uh, to speak things that you clearly hadn't done enough research about, um, saying that the Hebrew Israelites use Revelation 1, uh, 13 through, you know, 15 to... Uh, to 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 prove that the Israelites that that the Lord um, was a so-called black man, and the Bible tells you that clearly that he was. And you also made a very erroneous and sarcastic statement that you believe that the the Jewish people over in the land of Israel are are the Israelites, and they're Israelis. They're they're not the Israelites, and there is a mountain of evidence to prove that they aren't. Okay. Um, the oldest Hebrew relics known to man were found here among the Native Americans that predate Christopher Columbus. All right, so basically, it's just you ignoring and, can, and just like Esau, ignoring evidence, ignore, ignoring history, ignoring scripture, trying to control the narrative. Okay, trying to promote uh, this, All right, which is Cesare Borgia, Renaissance. The Renaissance art, which from this time, uh, from that time period on, is when Edomite superiority, red superiority, I'm not going to say white because there's no such thing as white people, all right? And as you said, black, there's no such thing as black people. Look at my skin, all right? My skin is a very, very light shade of brown. This cup is white. And no one skin is porcelain white. There's not a person on the, on the planet. All right. So-called white people have translucent skin and their blood shows forth through their skin. All right. And I have to be basic because it's always new time what new uh, time watchers on the, on the channels, man. More and more people are waking up to this truth. But th here we go. Let's jump right into it. This is Revelation 1. Verse 13, and in the midst of seven candlesticks, those, you know, those, that's the menorah, right? Not nine, like the Jewish people use, if you notice, okay? Uh, in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with the garment, down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. You left out the wool part. You said his hair was white, all right? I have white hairs on my chin, all right? But the texture of my hair, although my hair is like really curly, but it's still woolly. All right. It's still woolly. OK. Um, it says. Um, and his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace and the voice as the sound of many waters because he had a really deep vo uh, voice. OK. And you poke fun and you try to show a furnace melting metal or something to that effect. That's not what it's saying at all. You take anything and put it in the oven and burn it, it's going to be covered with soot. It's going to be dark. Okay? Um, Lamentations, it says that their visage is blacker than a coal, man. So, you know what? Let's look that up. Before we go any further, because there's there's other scriptures and prophecies that I want to get into, that was uh that was put on the Israelites as a mark, as a marker, so you know who they were, okay? So let's look up this word uh, 
As a matter of fact, before we look up coal and visage, let's go to wool. Let's stay with the task at hand. This is the uh, Winston Simplified Dictionary Encyclopedic Edition, 1933. Okay, there it is. And this is the definition of wool. And um, and I'm going to read the whole thing. Okay? Pay attention to the last definition. It says, The fine, often curly hair that covers a domesticated sheep. All right? It says, uh, and sheep hair is very thick. It's not fine. Fine hair is thin. Goats have thin hair because it's straight. All right. Also, the somewhat similar hair of certain other animals, as a goat, as an alpaca, um, the underfur down of any animals, as a seal, distinguished from the longer, stiffer hairs. Anything resembling the wool of sheep, as steel wool, cotton wool, the kinky hair of Negroes, wool. So when they say a hair of wool in the Bible, it was representing, it was, it was referring to the kinky hair of Negroes. You left out that very important detail. Let's see if we can get that into frame. Okay. The kinky hair of Negroes. All right. Now. Let's go to uh, Revelation 4th chapter. All right. All right. So let's read. This is beginning of verse 1. And it says, And after this I looked, and behold, a door as opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was with me. And it said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which thou must hear hereafter. As a matter of fact, the, revelate, the word revelation, before we go any further, let's look it up. Like I said, this is all being done through the Spirit. Let's look up the word revelation. Because this image right here has been pushed to the earth ever since Esau got dominion, all right, since the, since the Renaissance. When, the, uh, when, when Portugal and Spain fell, and the Moors, who were Israelites, who had converted to Islam, but nevertheless, they were black men, so-called, and the and the uh, the Marenos, who were the Jews, the secret Jews. When when they fell, and the so-called white man got dominion over over uh, uh, Portugal and Spain, and then all of Europe shortly thereafter, uh, that that false image was pushed. Okay, that false image was pushed, and to. To prove that, let's go find this definition of Moreno, and we'll put this to the camera, all right? Because the Morenos were what you referred to as the secret Jew, because guess what? Um, Dr. Uh, uh, Gene Kim, when when Columbus came to the Americas, he came over here with five Moreno interpreters that spoke Hebrew, because he knew he was going to encounter people that were speaking Hebrew. Hence the reason why I said that the oldest Hebrew relics, all right, without all the the dots and the vowel points that were added in 1870s by Eliar, Eliezer ben Yehudi, a, a, a Khazar, a, a Jewish convert, which is what the people are over in the land of Israel. You need to look that up. Look up Kagan Bullen. Yeah, you need to look th things like that up. But though, but uh, before he changed it, you know, and everything was just the way it was. There was no vowel points. So the language that's being spoken now is it is it it really is Yiddish, which we're gonna read about that. Alright? But here, the Moreno, there it is. A Jew or more converted to Christianity. 1580 Spain. There it is, man. Alright. That's coming from online etymology dictionary. And if you, you know, and today Hispanics still refer to dark skin, dark complected uh, uh, Hispanic people or Negroes as Morenos. So something's not adding up, man. You don't know history. You prescribe to the lies of your conquerors, man. You're cooning. 
All right, you're being a coon for Esau, the so-called white man, which through the spirit, I think you are a so-called white man. I don't even think you're a true Moabite man. Okay, but let's look up the word revelation. All right, because the Lord had to be revealed. All right, let's keep that, that revelation four on deck. It's going to finish that definition. But let's look up the word revelation and see what it means, see what it says. All right. And why does that does there need to be a book of revelation? And the Lord had to be revealed. Why? The world had to be revealed because there's been a false image of him pushed throughout the earth. All right. And you are one of those wicked individuals who helped forward that lie. We go T. Wow, there's a lot of S's. A lot of S word. Here we go. Okay. Reveal. Well, there's no revelation, but the root word in revelation is reveal. Okay? So let's highlight that and read it. Okay. Oh, there is revelation. There it is. But I'll read reveal anyway, because it's the root word of the word revelation. I'm going to read it first and then read revelation. All right. Why did the Lord have to be revealed in the book of Revelation if there wasn't something special about, you know? So we're going to get to the bottom of this. As we correct you, Dr. Kim, you're going to lose members in your church over this. Should have should have kept your mouth shut, man. You should have sat on the sidelines and wrote it out. All right. But uh, this is the word reveal. OK. And it reads to unclose or uncover something secret or hidden. Not looking too good. Divulge natural means. All right. To publish and announce, to disclose, to divulge. All right, revelation. See, reveal. It told you, it tells you to go to reveal. See? The sect of making known that which before was secret or private, that which is made known, the state of being made known, the manifestation by God of his will and his truths to man. God will and the truths manifested to man, the means by which these are communicated. Revelation, the last book of the New Testament ascribed to the Apostle John and containing mystic and symbolic prophecies, the apocalyptic, uh, apocalypse called in full the revelation of St. John the Divine. So apocalypse also means to reveal. That's because when you look, look in uh, the Spanish Bibles, that's often what it says. All right to be revealed and what's being revealed the, what's being revealed is that this is a lie okay that's why it talks about secrets okay so let's read uh, 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 just a couple more things just to make to prove this point to drive it home because I mean I, we could go for hours on this but I'm just going to make it very you know trying to make it simple interesting and uh, where it actually stirs up your mind and like uh, my brother uh, Yasha Wamba said, the elder in, in the Dallas camp, you Christians now are being forced to actually read the Bible. You're being forced to do research. And Dr. Kim um, is basically, you 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 know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Nava Shai, you just lost members of your church, man. And more people have just woken up to the truth. All right. You should have just kept your mouth shut trying to be sarcastic and funny and, and being hateful toward the Israelites, all right? And all it did was, was help bring on your destruction, okay? So this is Revelation, the fourth chapter. After this, I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were a trumpet talking to me. It said he had the sound of many waters. His voice was loud, all right? Which said, come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit and behold, the throne was set. So he was in the spirit. All right. 
and the throne was set in heaven and the one who sat on it. So this is who he's looking at. And he that sat, uh, sat looked upon like a jasper and a sardine stone and there was a rainbow about him. When you look up sardine, you're going to see different shades of brown. As a matter of fact, sardine stone looks like my garment. All right. It's from the darker color to the lighter color, man. Okay. Some sardine stones look totally, totally like almost black. And brown is, and you got to remember, brown is like a derivative of red. Sometimes that ruddy definition is talking about a ruddy brown, like a maroon. Because when you look up uh, a ruddy duck or a ruddy horse, you're going to see a dark brown uh, 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 horse or a dark brown animal with, with dark brown with some red hues in it. Like when you see a really brown person, they almost shine because they got like a golden glow. That's that red to them. All right. Not pale red, not blood red underneath their skin like you just smack the shit out of them excuse the french so i have to make you see all right also when you look up the sardine stone and the jasper stone not only they're both brown but it says they're flesh colored that's one of the definitions it's a flesh colored brown stone man okay um last night when we did the live show the brother brought out hebrews 7 and 14 let's read it all right this is hebrews 7 and 14 so maybe two or three more scriptures. And we'll finish this. Just to prove the point. And this is basic stuff, man. This is not going deep or none of that. This was just things that were hidden in plain sight. You know? The mysteries were revealed unto the prophets, man. It wasn't revealed unto you, uh, uh, Dr. Kim. And by the way, doctor means to falsify. That's the root meaning of the word. Look it up. To lie. This is Hebrews 7 and 14, and it reads, For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, all right, of, of which tribe Moses spake, nothing concerning the priesthood. So he's telling you he came from the tribe of Judah. So let's read uh, Jeremiah 14 and 2. Okay. So this is a uh, book of Jeremiah. Fourteen and two. And it reads, Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof language. They are black unto the ground, like that soil in that pot over there. Alright, and the cry of Jerusalem has gone up. And when you look up that word, that word there is Kadar. And that word Kadar could be attached to other scriptures and attached to other words, which clearly mean blackish dark skin okay can't get around it man why because it's being revealed definition of reveal again root word in the book, book of revelation and it reads to unclose or uncover something secret or hidden okay last description is uh I'm gonna go to one of my favorites. Cause there's so many. They talk about my skin is black upon me. How, how can you? You can't get around scriptures like that, man. All right. But this is uh, the Book of Lamentations four and eight, and I like it because of the way it's 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 uh it's written. It says their visage is black. Or, this is Lamentation four and eight. Their visage. Let's look up visage before we go any further. Let's reveal what visage means. Okay. I'm not even cursing you out, man. Believe me, I, f I feel like using a lot of rude speech, man. But you know what? I'm going to beat you down with the truth, man. And insult you with the truth. And insult your, your lack of intelligence. The fact that you refer to yourself as a doctor and you know nothing. You're a false prophet and a liar and you're going into slavery, man. Okay? I can say that rudely or I can say it nicely. Okay? Still doesn't mean you're not going to get a foot. All right. This is the word visage. It says. Um, uh, uh, visage, a look. And it's from the Latin. And it says to see the face or countenance appearance. So their appearance is blacker than a coal. Just to add insult to injury. Let's look. Matter of fact, I'll put that up the camera. Hopefully. 
from the same source that Winston Alright, the vicious is, is blacker than the coal. Alright. Let's go to a, a coal. Let's see what a coal looks like. And you've all seen a coal before. Alright. It says a black or brownish black combustible carbonous mineral let's highlight that I'm gonna have to use that again because we always say that there's really no such thing as black people all right I'll read it again it says a black or brownish black combustible carbonous mineral formed by deep decomposition of vegetable matter all right and it's found and dug up in the earth and it's used as a fuel to burn all right so there it is man so with that i hope this was an edifying lesson dr kim you have been corrected you're a liar and a false prophet and you're going into slavery and with that i say all praises going honor be unto you how about you now was shy and shalom